With building industry online, it is possible to take a project through its complete life cycle, from design to tender, construction and completion all in one system. Part 1 of project creation will look at loading your project and distributing your tender. And Part 2 will cover off managing the construction process. Before creating your first project, it is recommended that you have uploaded your preferred team into your bio account, created a project template or templates incorporating the trades and products you require for each project type, created any email templates you may want to use when sending correspondence, and created any particular project folders that will assist you to organize the tender. Demo videos are also available to guide you through these functions. So let's log into the system. By default, you are taken to the My Project screen. Click on Add New to create your project, and input the basic information your contractors and suppliers will need to ascertain if the project is suitable for them, such as the project commencement date, the duration of the project, the size of the project, and the project's location. By default, the biogeographical region your project is located in will be highlighted in the Region Selection panel. Select additional regions by holding down Control and clicking on the region names. When contractors search for project in those geographic regions, your project will appear. If you are not the main point of contact for this project, please fill out the project delegation fields with the details of the project owner so that all communications are directed to this person. If you are the project owner, you can leave these fields blank. Lastly, if you would like your project to be visible to the bio network, check the Publish Project checkbox. If you would like to keep the project private, please keep this blank and click Submit. Now that we have created the project shell, I am taken to the Edit Project area. The tabs are set up as a step-by-step -step workflow to guide you through managing your tender. On the second tab, I am going to complete the tender detail. I am going to load a project template that was created earlier, which will update my project with all the trades and products I require for this project, as you will see later. In the Staff tab, I will select the staff members I want to have on the project. And now in the Documents tab, I will upload the project documents. You can upload individual files, or you can upload a zipped folder, which will automatically decompress the docs upon upload. For this reason, we recommend that you give your documents appropriate file names. I have five zipped folders containing documents for different aspects of the project. Architectural, Civil, Hydraulics, Electrical, and Landscaping. I'm going to select a number of documents or folders to upload, and then proceed to upload each individually, allocating them to the corresponding folders I have created in my bio account. Please note that my architecture folder contains DWG files, so I check the appropriate Do Not Extract Files checkbox so the folders remain zipped and hit Submit. With my project documents loaded, I am going to review the trades I have associated with this project. As you may recall, I loaded a commercial project template from the Info tab, which has updated my Trades and Products tab with the necessities of the job. My template doesn't provide for a swimming pool, so I'm going to add this to the trade requirements by clicking Add New and searching for Swimming Pool. I select the skills I need and click Done. If you didn't load a project template, you would simply go through and add your trade and product requirements individually, and then repeat for your products in Tab 6. I am now going to send a tender invitation to my network from the Notify Contractors and Notify Suppliers tabs. From this screen, I have the choice to notify everyone in the bio network, including my preferred team of contractors, who fits the trade requirements for the project and is based in one of those regions that I selected in the first screen. To do this, I simply navigate to the Notify All Contractors dash email option and hit Apply. This time I just want to notify my preferred team, so instead I choose this option and the email message screen appears. I am happy that a generic tender invitation is emailed to my network with all the project detail provided, so I don't need to include a message at this stage. I check the Include Download All Link in Email option so that recipients of the tender notification can access the project documents just by clicking on a link in their email. I hit Submit and the tender invitation is sent. Here is the tender notification my contractors will receive. From this email, they can view the project documents and accept or decline the offer and quote for the job. I can see from my Projects tab who has accepted the invitation to tender and from the Waiting on Responses screen who I am still waiting to hear back from. 
As always, if you have any questions, contact the help desk on 1-300-604-001. In the first video of our Creating a Tender series, we had just emailed tender invitations to our preferred team. Now we're going to look at managing these invitations, attaching quotes, and awarding contracts. As you can see from the on-project report, a couple of contractors have already confirmed their interest in the project. This simply means that they intend to quote for the project. The Waiting on Responses tab tells me who hasn't yet accepted a tender invitation and who has declined the opportunity. Jay's contractor has verbally advised that they will be quoting, so I'm going to indicate this by pushing them onto the project. For everyone else, the tender closing date is fast approaching, so I'm going to notify them again of the tender by checking the Select All checkbox and clicking on Notify. This will send the tender invitation again. If I go to the Manage Documents area, I can see from the Incoming Docs Quotes tab that two of my contractors have sent me their estimates via the Doc Exchange option in their bio accounts. This is a private document exchange between the contractor and the project owner, and anything submitted via this tab cannot be seen by any other contractor or supplier on the project. By default, these documents are locked to prevent changes. I have also received a quote outside of bio via email that I would like to save into the system, so all project information is stored in one central location. To do this, I simply go to the On Project tab, check the checkbox corresponding to that contractor, click Add Quote, and upload the estimate. As I chose to publish my project and have it viewable by contractors in the bio system, I have received an expression of interest from a contractor to quote for the project. I have decided to allow them onto the project, but there is also the option to deny the expression of interest. Either way, the contractor will automatically receive a notification as to whether their expression of interest has been successful or not. I've received a question about a specification on the plan, so I'm going to send everyone involved or who may be involved in on the project an addendum. First, I upload my revised specification document to my addendum folder. If I had multiple files, I could upload them all at once using a zip folder. I then go to the Manage Documents area and click on the Add Transmittal tab. I'm going to set a reply by date for the recipients to acknowledge their receipt of the revisions and respond with any questions or concerns. I select my addendum folder and then the particular document I want to send. If I just wanted to send the update to a particular group of contractors, say my preferred con creators, I could use the filter option to refine the list of possible recipients to just con creators. I can also restrict the recipients to the trades and products associated with that folder. In this case, I want to send the update to everyone who has been notified of the tender. First, I select my own project members I need to send it to, then the contractors who haven't declined or accepted the tender invitation, and lastly, I choose the staff I want to inform. I just need to type in a quick message and hit submit. The recipients will receive the message with the link to download the new file. If I go to the features option in the left-hand menu and choose transmittal, I can see the transmittal I just sent and all the information about who was sent to and at what time. If I click on the document access report link, I can see who has downloaded the new file. And I can see from the pick trades tab that most of the trades I need to get estimates for have at least one confirmed contractor intending to quote. I can see this from the number in the working column. The trades in red font have not been covered and I would like to find applicable contractors to send the tender invitation to. To do this, I simply click on the search option and this will bring up any contractors who have not yet been notified about the project. I check all the tradespersons I want to invite to tender and click submit to send a notification. And that's part two of creating tender. So contact the help desk if you would like to learn more about this on 1300 604 001.